45 Super for when you think the 10 millimeter is overrated. And I'm going to do a test between 45 Super and 44 Magnum. The 45 Super is a 185 grain jacket of hollow point rated at 1300 feet per second. Our 44 Mag is a 180 grain, so very close in weight, rated at 1500 feet per second but this is a four inch barrel so it's going to shoot significantly slower and that revolver and that's kind of one of those things does 45 super equal to 44 mag no but when we put it into like a four inch barrel and this is really why i like to do on my channel is more personal pr protection stuff rather than hunting and bear defense and stuff like that 44 magnum this is just an anti-personnel it's a little bit lower powered and through a four inch barrel it's not going to be overbearing 45 super on the other hand it's kind of hot now what i like about the 45 super and i'm going to explain a little bit about this now i got a, a 41 match kkm barrel this was provided by one of my patreons so thank you very much for that um what we got going on here is the 45 super is essentially the same outer dimensions as a 45 acp but the the, the case is reinforced and all of that and you have a lot higher power now, reason for getting a conversion barrel, and it's not really a conversion barrel, it's just a match barrel. And I'll roll in some photos here, but 45 Super is very high powered, high pressured. And if you look at this picture here, you know, we're fully supported in our chamber with our match barrel here. So we're going to be a little bit safer to shoot this stuff and not really worry about it. And why I find the 45 Super kind of more practical than the 10 millimeter is because the 10 millimeter it just shoots 10 millimeter and you can, you know, shoot some 40 through it. Some people say, but it, you really are not supposed to because it's not lining up correctly. Being the outer dimensions of the 45 Super is the 45 ACP. Well, basically you can take a gun and get it uh, running well for 45 Super. And by the way, I put in a 22 pound spring. This is the stock spring here. And that's the main thing, either that or a buffer in there to reduce the slide speed or crashing essentially on the frame um what you got though is you got a lot more versatility because you can shoot 45 acp and your 45 super setups so we're going to see how 40 45 super does compared to some low end 44 magnum so i'm going to go through the chronograph see what kind of velocity and accuracy i get at the same time then i'm going to shoot through my standardized 10 percent clear ballistic test where i have four layers of denim followed by three inches of clear ballistics to represent hitting a pectoral muscle followed by a quarter inch medium density fiber board to represent hitting ribs or sternum into more clear ballistics i'll do a shot with the mdf i'll pull it out and i'll do a shot without it because the mdf kind of represents a ribs or sternum hit and no mdf kind of represents a gut shot because clear ballistics is you know your average tissue density on average and i'm going to shoot from 25 yards just to kind of see what kind of overall practical accuracy i can get with these particular guns so let's get started with this test all right first up we have the 44 mag uh cool thing about this test you know 180 grain 44 mag 185 grain 45 super you know kind of similar bullet weight we can kind of keep an eye on what's going on just an overview pretty easily so let's see what we got with our 44 mag 180 grain for velocity 1306 1380 1326 1323 1358 and honestly the recoil it wasn't that bad you know that's the benefit of a 180 grain i reduced that muzzle flip just a little bit not too bad of recoil Let's see how our 45 super compares all right first time shooting this barrel it may not function very well just because I don't know the, you know, the spring and everything, how it's going to interact. Uh, but, you know, med 1300s with the 180 grain 44 mag. This is a 185 grain. So we'll see what kind of velocity we get in comparison. 1299. A little bit of mag drop. It might just be the magazine there. Seemed to function, though. Well, no. Let's drop the mag. Thirteen twenty-two, same thing. It's not going to function very well. I'm going to try a different mag here in a sec. Thirteen seventeen, yeah, it's not functioning because of that. Let me swap out the mags. All right, I'll try a different mag. See if maybe that's the issue here. Keep going with this. Thirteen twenty-four. Thirteen forty. Yeah, that's the issue. 
fed just fine with this magazine. So just put a mark on that one to get rid of that one. Um, but as we're seeing, our velocity is almost identical. And this is a heavier bullet. So when you use a 44 mag, that's actually a practical weapon, a four inch barrel with a load you could probably actually handle. It's pretty darn close to this. Let's hit our ballistic gel block and see what we get with these rounds. All right, first up, we'll run our 44 mag through our four layers of denim, three inches of clear ballistics, a quarter inch MDF and the more clear ballistics. Let's see what we get with our 44 magnum 180 grain. All right. All right, so through our MDF, we definitely can tell that it's starting to expand in that first three inches because we have a larger bullet hole in starting diameter. And what we're looking at for our total damage path is about 17 inches. So that's not bad at all. We get some moderate expansion and I would not consider that over penetration, at least with the MDF in place. Let's leave the MDF out, we'll do a quote unquote gut shot and see how that compares all right next up we're going to do our gut shot no mdf we'll see how this does all right All right, so everything back in place. I want to make a correction on that first statement. I said 17 inches. That's because the, the entire two block setup slid forward. The first one was actually only at 16 inches. So 16 inches with our MDF and what we have for our quote unquote gut shot is only about 17 and a quarter. So not a lot of difference there. And this is interesting because it's about the same damage to the MDF versus no MDF, which is not typical. So this is really consistent performer, not over penetrating at all. 17 and a half inches is fine. Let's see how our 45 super does. All right, 45 super through our MDF, our ribs or sternum shot. Let's see how our 45 super does. All right. All right, so what we're seeing there, this is a phenomenon I was hoping not to have happen, but it's how Buffalo board loads these things. They used a Nosler bullet for the 45 Super. That's just how the 185 grain comes, and I can't change that. And they use an XTP for their 180 80 grain 44 Magnum, and I really can't change that either. So what we're looking at through our MDF is we're only at about 11 inches. So, you know, you combine the fact that that bullet's a nozzle with the fact that the sectional density is a little bit lower, I think. And look at what we got through our MDF here. That is massive. That's a lot of massive trauma. Um, this is typical of what we might see with like a 135 to a 150 grain 10 millimeter. So let's leave this MDF out and see how it compares. All right, 45, super, no MDF, just our gut shot. Let's see how it'll do. All right. All right, so what we're he seeing here is quite incredible and interesting and different. So what we're looking at, you know, instead of that 11 inches, actually looks more like 11 and a half on my first one here because I pushed the block back into a better position here. No MDF, we're only at nine inches. That's under penetrating because that nozzle bullet expanded so huge. So this is kind of one of those things. We're, we're, we're seeing some fun stuff here, okay? But we really can't take this into a total comparison because of the differences of bullets. But I did want to come out and shoot comparable bullets, however they came, just to kind of see if this is a good cartridge. And what I can see from here, judging from the fact that those bullets look like they're about near an inch, um, yeah. That means if you were to use a better constructed bullet, we would we would be seeing what we're getting with the 44 mag essentially. And we'll see that with some different bullet weights I'm gonna test in the near future. 
But overall, what I'm seeing here, though, is the 45 Super is keeping up with a 44 mag that you would legitimately carry for self-defense as far as energy numbers. Now, these bullets, these would be excellent. They just would not meet an FBI protocol. So let me shoot from that uh, 25 yards, see what kind of practical accuracy I can get. All right, 25 yards from my full-size steel solo up. We'll see how our 180 grain 44 Magnum does. And then we'll try our 45 Super. So there's our 44 mag. Very bad case ejection on these rounds. This is more of a uh, gun problem, I think, it is than an ammo problem because the case ejection is just seems to be really sticky with all ammo on this gun. Let me run a couple single actions, see if I make a headshot just for fun. Shooting a little high, let me aim a little low. <laughs> All right, I'm not good in single action. Let me go back to double. All right, now let's move on to our 45 Super, see how that compares. 45 Super, let's want to see if it's reliable. One nosedive in that magazine there. Nosedive up and down on this thing. Could be a magazine issue here. Yeah, right, drop the round. So, let me hold it a little bit tighter, see if that helps. Arm straighter. starting to fall out a little bit and we are out so overall though I'm kind of surprised because rate of velocity on that box I think was a little bit less than what I actually got in this pistol 5.3 inch Glock here so overall it compared with a practical 44 Magnum obviously it's not gonna compare with a very heavy 44 mag out of a longer barrel but a four inch barrel, 44 mag, around that I would actually carry, similar. So at the right bullet, I think we'll have similar uses for this. So that's what you get today, 45 Super, for when you think 10 millimeter kind of sucks and is overrated, which I do, 45 Super might be the way to go. So that's what you get today. So as always, comment, share, and like, and thanks for watching. <laughs>